Welcome to Fascinating 5. Today, we'll take a look at five significant programming languages introduced in the 20th century. These languages not only paved the way for modern computing but also played a crucial role in shaping the way we approach programming today. From their humble beginnings to their widespread usage, each of these languages has a unique history and set of characteristics. Whether you're a seasoned programmer or just starting out, you'll gain valuable insight into the evolution of programming and the impact these languages have had on the industry. As always, we would like to take a moment to thank all of you for watching this video. Your support and engagement are what makes creating content like this so rewarding. Please also consider leaving some comments down below. Your feedback is important for us to review and learn in order to create even better content in the future. So enough talking, let's travel back to 20th century and explore those influential programming languages. Number 5. Lisp. Lisp, which stands for Lisp Processing, is a high-level programming language that was first developed in the late 1950s. It was invented by John McCarthy, who is considered one of the fathers of artificial intelligence. One of the defining features of Lisp is its use of symbolic expressions and the ability to manipulate these expressions as data. This made Lisp particularly well-suited for tasks such as artificial intelligence and symbolic computation. The language was initially used for scientific and academic research, but it quickly gained a following among the artificial intelligence community. Lisp was widely used in the 1960s and 1970s, but its popularity declined in the following decades as other programming languages, such as Pascal and C, became more widely used. Despite its declining popularity, Lisp has had a lasting impact on the field of computer science. Its ideas and concepts have influenced many other programming languages, including Scheme, Common Lisp, and Clojure. Today, Lisp is still used by some researchers and enthusiasts, and it is considered one of the oldest programming languages still in use. Number 4. Pascal. Pascal is a high-level programming language that was first introduced in 1971 by Swiss computer scientist Niklas Wirth. It was designed to be a simple and efficient language for teaching computer science and structured programming. Pascal was also designed to address some of the shortcomings of other programming languages at the time, such as COBOL and FORTRAN. One of the defining characteristics of Pascal is its emphasis on structured programming. This means that programs written in Pascal are divided into small, manageable blocks of code, making the code easier to understand, maintain, and debug. Pascal also introduced a number of new language features, such as strong typing and the ability to define custom data types that were not available in other programming languages at the time. Pascal was widely adopted in the 1970s and 1980s, particularly in the academic community. It was also used in a number of commercial applications, including database management and system software. Despite its declining popularity, Pascal continues to have a lasting impact on the field of computer science. Its emphasis on structured programming has influenced other programming languages, such as C++ and Java, and it remains the popular language for teaching computer science. Number 3. Prolog. Prolog, which stands for Programming in Logic, is a high-level programming language that was first developed in the 1970s. It was invented by Alain Kalmerauer and Philippe Roussel, and was designed to be a language for artificial intelligence and symbolic computing. Prolog is based on the principles of formal logic and is particularly well-suited for tasks such as knowledge representation, theorem proving, and natural language processing. One of the defining features of Prolog is its use of rules and facts to represent knowledge and solve problems. In Prolog, you define a set of rules and facts, and the language uses these rules to find solutions to problems. This approach is in contrast to other programming languages, which use a more procedural approach to problem solving. Prolog was widely used in the 1970s and 1980s, particularly in the artificial intelligence community. However, its popularity declined in the following decades as other programming languages, such as C and Java, became more widely used. Despite its declining popularity, Prolog continues to be used by some researchers and enthusiasts, and it is considered one of the oldest artificial intelligence programming languages still in use. Prolog has had a lasting impact on the field of computer science, particularly in the areas of artificial intelligence and symbolic computing. Its innovative approach to problem solving has influenced other programming languages, such as Mercury and KRR. Number 2. Smalltalk. Smalltalk is a high-level object-oriented programming language that was developed in the 1970s and 1980s by researchers at Xerox PARC. 
It was designed to be a simple, yet powerful language for developing interactive applications, and it was one of the first programming languages to use the concept of objects in messaging. In Smalltalk, everything is represented as an object, and objects communicate with each other by sending and receiving messages. This approach to programming makes it easier to write modular and reusable code, and it has influenced other programming languages, such as Java and Ruby. Smalltalk was widely adopted in the 1980s, particularly in the academic community, where it was used to teach object-oriented programming. Smalltalk has had a lasting impact on the field of computer science, particularly in the areas of object-oriented programming and user interface design. Its innovative approach to programming has influenced other programming languages, and it remains a popular language for teaching object-oriented programming. Number 1. Ada Ada is a high-level programming language that was designed specifically for use in safety-critical and real-time systems. It was created in the late 1970s by Jean Hbaya, who was working for the French Defense Agency, Direction Générale de l'Armement. The language was named after Ada Lovelace, a mathematician who is credited with writing the first algorithm intended to be processed by a machine. Ada was created with the goal of improving software reliability and reducing the cost of software development. To achieve this, Ada was designed with features such as strong typing, structured programming, and a rich library of reusable software components. The language also includes features to support real-time and concurrent programming, making it well-suited for developing complex, real-time systems such as avionics, air traffic control systems, and communication networks. One of the key characteristics of Ada is its strong type checking, which helps to catch errors early in the development process and reduce the number of bugs in the code. The language also supports object-oriented programming, making it easier to write maintainable and reusable code. Additionally, Ada has a rich library of standard packages that provide common functionality, such as data structures, I.O., and mathematical operations, which helps to reduce the amount of code that needs to be written from scratch. Ada is still widely used today, especially in domains where safety and reliability are critical, such as aerospace, national defense, and transportation. It is also used in some financial, medical, and industrial control systems. The Ada language is standardized by the International Organization for Standardization (ISO) and is updated periodically to reflect the latest developments in software engineering and technology. In conclusion, we've taken a closer look at five of the most significant programming languages of the 20th century. Each of these languages has its own unique history, inventor, characteristics, and usage, and has had a lasting impact on the field of computer science. We hope this overview has given you a deeper appreciation for these trailblazers, and that it will encourage you to discover their connection to the programming languages of today. Thank you for watching and we look forward to exploring more with you in future videos.